The solution of a certain differential equation is of the form y of t equals a times e raised to the power of four t plus b times e raised to the power of six t, where a and b are constants. The solution has initial conditions, y of zero equals two and y prime of zero equals five. We want to find the particular solution by using the initial conditions to get linear equations for a and b. So we know that y of t is equal to a times e raised to the power of four t plus b times e raised to the power of six t. So using the initial condition y of zero equals two, we'll substitute zero for t and two for y of t. So if y of zero equals two, this implies that two must equal a times e raised to the power of four times zero plus b times e raised to the power of six times zero. Well, e to the zero is equal to one, so this gives us the equation two equals a times one or a plus b times one or b. So using the first initial condition, we know that a plus b must equal two. And now to use the second initial condition, y prime of zero equals five, we first need to find the derivative of y with respect to t. So y prime of t is equal to the derivative of a times e raised to the power of four t plus b times e raised to the power of six t with respect to t, which would be a times e raised to the power of four t times the derivative of four t with respect to t, which would be four, plus the derivative of b times e raised to the power of six t, which would be b times e raised to the power of six t times the derivative of six t with respect to t, which would be six. So we have y prime of t equals four a e to the four t plus six b e to the six t. And now using the initial condition, y prime of zero equals five, we'll substitute five for y prime of t and zero for t. So we'd have five equals four a times e to the four times zero plus six b times e to the six times zero. Again, e to the zero is one, so we have the equation five equals four a plus six b. So now we know that four a plus six b must equal five. And now we'll solve the system of equations in order to find the values of a and b to find the particular solution for a certain differential equation. Let's go ahead and use the method of substitution. Let's go ahead and solve this first equation for let's say a. a is equal to two minus b. So now we'll substitute two minus b for a in the second equation, which will give us one equation with one variable. Performing the substitution, we'd have four times the quantity two minus b plus six b equals five. Distributing, we'd have eight minus four b plus six b equals five. Combining like terms, we have two b. Let's also subtract eight on both sides, so two b equals negative three. Dividing both sides by two, we have b equals negative three halves. Now we still need to find a, but we know that a is equal to two minus b. So a is equal to two minus negative three halves. So a is equal to two plus three halves, or four halves plus three halves, which equals seven halves. So now performing substitution for a and b into the general solution, we would have y of t equals a, which is seven halves, times e raised to the power of four t, and then because b is negative three halves, we'd have minus three halves, times e raised to the power of six t. This would be the particular solution based upon the given initial conditions. I hope you found this helpful.